hello everyone welcome back to the another new tutorial and in this one i will show you how you can use a surface imperfection map inside nuke so this is i already covered in my live stream uh, if you go check in my live stream i did a live stream uh, on a world vfx day that day i explained how you can use a surface imperfection maps in your nuke uh, but i think uh, that stream is very long so that's why i decide to make a separate video about this uh, so in this one i will explain uh, what what i actually explain in that stream i will explain here again but in a little bit more in detail all right uh, you can see i have a few examples here which we're going to see one by one so the first one i have this image so all these images i downloaded from pixels so you can uh, download from there so this is a vertical image so i just reformat and uh, transform to you know make it center and just did a frame mode because i just want to show you in a single frame and in the top i have these uh, two texture files so these images called uh, roughness because these are actually used in you know when you're uh, making a shaders in 3d system that time we are using these to add a uh, roughness you know specular uh, breakups and all those things see these two images i have all right and i and i created a stamp so i can use it anywhere very easily you can see i use them in few uh, areas so frame holding this one and uh, let me quickly show you the final output so this one you can see it's, it, this is very obvious we are adding uh, uh, you know survey imperfection on the on the glass simulate uh, you know that imperfection on the glass and how i add this one it's very very simple you know corner pinning uh, based on the perspective you can see and uh, doing a eye blur and adding a second one you can see on the top here i did a little multiply i mean very less amount so you want very less and the same setup for that uh, second one and then just merge them together like that in this side i have this one in the close one i have this uh, water drops so again doing unprimers the main thing is here i'm adding uh, this background color on this one so that we can see the disable now is uh, very monochromatic i mean there is no color in that one now we have a bit more color like that uh, I think you know but I will explain this one again how I, how I add that color I did the clamp first so that way I'm not uh, when I blur now nah, I only want to see that uh, if I don't have a clamp now nah, you will see this kind of weird result but in, in reality we want this one because we see this image this is the highlight area is very dominating so we, we want to reduce that so I did that and the blur amount is whatever amount you can set and then we have this uh, color space node and in that one we have to set the linear and output is a uh, yc uh, yc bcr and then uh, copy paste the same color space node and put it here make sure to do unpremult first okay like the unpremult then do the colors thing okay and then copy paste this one and put it here in the bottom and just swap the input like that just click this one it will swap and in between this one we can we need to add uh, this uh, dissolve node and you can connect zero to this one and to this one okay let me connect this to this one and if you do unprimed you will see there is no change it's looking exactly same like here because here we need to do some changes so if you open this uh, dissolve panel first thing we need to set this to rgba all right and just make it complete one and uncheck the red so make this one uncheck the red and uh, green and blue only so that way we are only uh, taking the color now if we compare from here to here sorry here you can see the color has been added this is exactly i'm doing here but i'm using this one it's the same thing you can see it's the same thing you can use rgb or rgba whatever you need to uncheck that one okay uh, that's how you can you know add a color like this and uh, then you have this kind of color in your uh, this image you can see you can do this also with the copy node also let me copy pay if i take a copy node i will do the same thing i will connect this to here and this here and i only want a uh, green and blue i want right so let's do that and connect this one and you can see you get exactly the same result as we are getting here you can see i do one by one to one and we are getting the same result so it's up to you what you want to use i am using a dissolve node you can use also copy node you can do the same thing with the copy node also so this is very simple example this is how you can use survey imperfection map to add you know a glass dirt and there is one more thing here in this one so in this one also i did the same thing you can see i read this uh, glass dirt it's the same technique but here i'm using a little bit of uh, help of 3d system because this is a 
सर्कुलर शेप राइट दिस इज अलिंड्रिकल शेप दिस मच ऑफ करेक्शन आई डिट फ्रॉम दिस इमेज टू दिस इमेज ओके इट्स अप टू यू इट्स बेस्ड ऑन यू नो फाइनल आउटपुट आई एम वीविंग हियर एंड देन आई एम एंड देन ओनली आई एम डूइंग दिस करेक्शन सो इट बेस्ड ऑन दैट द मेन थिंग इज दिस टी डी सिस्टम सो वट आई डिड यर डिसेबल लेट मी शो यू दिस वन आई डायरेक्टली अप्लाई दिस वन ऑन अ सिलेंडर नाउ वी हैव दिस शेप ओके इट्स प्रिटी कुल आई एम यूजिंग अ ट्रांसफॉर्म जियो टू ट्रांसफॉर्म दिस वन बेस्ड ऑन द माई कैमरा सो दिस इज जस्ट अ रैंडम camera from nuke it's not match moon nothing but i uh, assume that it's a uh, 50 mm lens because it's very a uh, deep focus i mean very shallow depth of field so i thought it's it is a uh, 50 mm so based on the assumption i use that lens and this is the output i have okay and uh, with the transform geo i place it like this now if i view from here the problem is can see we see this cut line and you can see here also because uh, this is a cylinder right so there is nothing underneath so we need to put something to block that area so for that what i did i uh, take the sphere and make the sphere scale negative 1 it's like a complete disk in new we don't have a disk by default we have only card but i need a disk and if i merge this two together now we are filling that area uh, remember uh there is no transformation is happening all the transformation happening after uh, this merging with the merge geo and then i'm using transform geo to you know move everything together now if i view from here see it's fixed still it's not fixed you can see there is a multiply here i'm applying the same image on the cylinder also and the sphere also but the sphere have this multiply of this one now you can see this is what you will get like that okay but i added a multiply node and i make this one 0.5 you can see and if i on this one now it's perfectly blending because we need to do that otherwise it, it will look uh, double layer that's why it's adding this one again and it's looking bright so just add this one and it will fix and similar thing you can see the color the uh, adding the color thing the uh, same stuff here and overall uh, i'm reducing this intensity and also on uh, taking a luminance and you know uh, removing from some areas like that and adding a defocus little bit so you can use this one also like that it's very good you know to add some detail in your glass okay now there is one very very good technique in 3d the main purpose of you are using uh, this kind of texture to you know add a uh, roughness on this kind of surface to break uh, the reflection you know specular and everything so here i try to do the same thing you can see it's breaking but this is not a very uh, good example to show you i will show you in the next example so uh, in this one i have this uh, sphere ball and here you can easily see the specks and light and everything we will try to add a roughness in this sphere okay if i add this one we can see how this is look and it's looking very very uh, very good you can see so uh, see the sun also we are breaking very uh, very nicely ignore the edges because here we need to add a fresnel and uh, all those things but you get the idea what you can do with this technique so what i did here i use the same thing this transform it i didn't wrap it on the sphere i just want to see how it will look i just cut with the mask that's it this is just a mask i just cut with the mask okay so the main is we need to use eye blur and we need to uh, use in eye blur in log mode okay that is the main idea here if i remove this log now you will see a very big change without log you will see the highlight is clipping is clamping it's not looking good here it's looking very patchy all right with the log it's look very smooth and see the transition it's very very good transition you can see so that is exactly what we need see without this it's it's not good at all with this it's looking way better right so this is the whole idea so what i did here this is normal eye blur nothing special but you can use log tool in or you can use othio just you know lint to log same thing and just revert back to you know log tool in and you get uh, this result the same result i am doing here also you can see it's like you know adding a glass on top you know it's very natural looking you know you can see and uh, this is we are breaking and then i'm adding a little bit slightly uh, less opacity on top of this okay so you can use uh, this kind of texture in many many uh, scenarios especially on the glass and uh, like uh, this kind of you know surface if you have a wood surface or something you know so you can use if you want to add some detail here so you can use this one and you can break this one you can do many things like that so uh, this is this is i just want to you know show you i hope you find this uh, helpful and 
if you want to see the live stream where i explain this thing you can check that but i thought let's make a you know quick video you know to explain this in more detail uh, in a separate video uh, so that's why i made this one i hope you find this one useful and happy new year in advance we will see you in the next year uh, i have a very very big plans in next year so you're going to see so thank you for watching and we will see you in, in a very next one